Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you some basic knowledge on a very beautiful creature of the earth that is nothing but the fungi. As we know, fungi are the microscopic, eukaryotic, spore bearing, achlorophyllous, unicellular or multicellular organism. They generally reproduce by two ways either sexually or asexually and usually they are filamentous. Their branched somatic structures are typically surrounded by cell wall containing chitin or cellulose or both means chitin as well as cellulose. If we want to go into the deeper of the fungi then we should understand the meaning of few terminologies like thalas. These are the vegetative body of the fungus. It consists of elongated continuous tubular or the hollow filamentous structure. These individual filamentous are called hypha and more than one filamentous is called hyphae. I mean to say that is the plural form of the word hypha. Another terminology is mycelium. These are the collection of the hyphal bodies which are together called mycelium. These mycelium are of two types, either accepted or sinusoidic, means they do not have any septation within their mycelium. And another is septate mycelium, means they have septation within the mycelium. There are the different color of the fungi. Usually they are white in color and in mycology it is called hyaline. Occasionally, the fungi are colored, means they may be brown or the black. And it is due to the shades of the pigmentation of the cell wall. There are different types of mycelium which are produced by the fungi. Number one is ectophytic mycelium. This type of mycelium generally born on the outer surface of the host. Commonly, the genus Erysophian capnodium they produces ectophytic mycelium. Endophytic mycelium is another type of mycelium produced by many different types of fungi, especially the, the genus Colletotrichum and the Rhizopus. And endophytic mycelium producing organisms are present in the plant body, which help the plant in activating the defense mechanism of the host systems and this type of mycelium they penetrate the host and develop within the tissue. Ectoendophytic mycelium is another type of mycelium produced by many fungi. The meaning of ectoendophytic means this type of mycelium are generally present in both on the surface as well as within the host tissue. Intercellular type of mycelium is also another type of mycelium which penetrate in between the host cell. This is followed by intracellular type of mycelium. This type of mycelium are generally present inside the host cell. As already mentioned that there are different type of mycelium. One example is intracellular mycelium. In case of intracellular mycelium, as in the figure shows, they produce within the cell. But in case of intercellular mycelium, they are generally present or produce in between the cell, but not within the cell. Fungi have some specialized structures. Number one specialized structure is aprosorium. This aprosorium may be of simple or the lobed swellings of the germ tube. And this type of structures are generally used by the fungi to attach themselves within the host surface. Another specialized structure is called hosteria. And this type of structures are produced by the fungi to obtain nutrient from the host cell. They may be lobe type, club type, as well as filamentous. Rhizomorph and rhizomycelium are 
another two type of specialized structure produced by many fungi rhizomorph are nothing these are the long root like strand of closely packed parallel hyphae forming compact masses organism like armillaria ganoderma they produces rhizomorph on the other hand rhizomycelium are the rudimentary hyphal growth of non filamentous fungi and rhizomycelium are used by the fungi for absorbing nutrition from the host cell for their growth as well as development stroma are also specialized structure these are compact vegetative structure of the fungi often bearing sporocar either within or upon its surface organism like claviceps fusiformis they produces stroma during their growth or the life cycle oidia are the vegetative cell that are breaking from the aerial hyphae functioning as a reproductive bodies they do not have resting period many a times we used to term it as arthrospores the organism like powdery mildew they produces oidia as a special type of structures fungi reproduce either vegetatively sexually or asexually in case of vegetative reproduction here modification of the hyphal cell or the mycelium occurs in case of asexual reproduction there is no union of the male and female gametes but in case of sexual reproduction there is always union of the male as well as female gamete i mean to say there will be the union between or mating between the anthidium as well as ogonium which are the male and female gametes of the fungi respectively the organism fungi they produces different type of vegetative structures or the spores number 1 is sclerotia these are the compact hard mass of dormant mycelium with varying shape and size they may be brown or the black on the out, outer side and gray or the white on the inner side which can be easily visible under microscope if you do the dissection these are resistant to unfavorable environmental conditions and they may remain as dormant structure for a long period of time this is sclerotia are of regular type or irregular type this regular type of are either brown color or black color similarly irregular type of sclerotia are also brown color as well as black color regular brown color sclerotia are generally produced by the organism sclerotium rolfsi claviceps microcephala and many more on the other hand regular black color sclerotia are generally produced by the organism sclerotium oryzae on the other hand irregular brown color sclerotia are produced by common soil borne organism that is rhizoctonia solanae on the other hand irregular black color sclerotia are generally produced by the organism like rhizoctonia batatikola as well as sclerotinia sclerotiorum Here are the photograph of regular brown sclerotia produced by sclerotium rolfsi in artificial media and these are the sclerotia produced by claviceps microcephala which are also regular as well as brown color but their size is bigger or the larger as compared to the sclerotia produced by the sclerotium rolfsi In this photograph I want to show some of the regular black color sclerotia which are appear on the plant surface just like a black dot which are nothing these are sclerotia produced by sclerotium oryzae in the field conditions on the other hand rhizoctonia solanae which is a very dangerous soil borne organism with having a huge or numerous number of host ranges they produces irregular brown sclerotia either in the infected plant parts or in the artificial media 
rajectinia botaticola and sclerotia rolls. They always produces irregular black color sclerotia and by producing this type of structure, they can survive in the crop debris or in the soil for many years and as a when they face the favorable environmental conditions, they germinate and start attacking the susceptible host crop. The organism which are produced sclerotia and based on their nature of germination, they are classified as mycelogenous, which is actually uh, applicable for the organism sclerotium rolpsi, then carpogenous, which is applicable for the organism like claviceps, purpura or claviceps species, as well as sclerotina sclerotiorum. They may be sporogenous, and this is true for the organism Botrytis cinerea. Beside this type of structures, many fungi they produce another special type of structure that is called chlamydospores. These chlamydospores are the thick wall resting spores of the fungi. They produced under unfavorable conditions. They are usually dark color and spherical. They may bone terminally that is at the end of the mycelium or they may produce in between the mycelium. The organism like Fusarium, Botrytis, they produce chlamydospores as a resting structure in their uh, growth and developmental stage. Fungi are many a time considered as a holocarpic fungi and eucarpic fungi. But what is the meaning of these two terms that is holocarpic and eucarpic? Holocarpic means your anterior thallus is converted into one or more reproductive unit. And here the somatic and reproductive unit do not occur in the same individual. Most typical example is Synchytrium endobiticum, which is considered as holocarpic fungi. Here, the entire thallus of this organism is generally converted into one or more reproductive unit. But on the other hand, eucarpic fungi like Pythium that belongs to Umycetes. Here, portion of the thalas is generally converted into reproductive structure instead of the anterior thalas. The fungi, they may produce or reproduce asexually and fragmentation, fission, etc. are the common asexual reproduction method. In case of fragmentation, here the mycelium breaks into two or more similar fragment either accidentally or due to some external forces and each of the fragment grows into a new mycelium. On the other hand, in case of fission, the parent cell splits into two equal halves, each of which develop into a new individual and fission is the common features of the organism like yeast. Budding is another asexual reproduction method. Here parent cell produces one or more projections called buds, which later develop necessary structures and detach to grow into a new individuals. And budding type of asexual reproduction is common in the unicellular form of organism like yeast. Asexual spores may be endogenous. Here, spores are produced inside the sac-like structures and this sac is called sporangium and the spores may be motile like juice spores and they may be non-motile that means aplanospores. That means all aplanospores are called non-motile spores. Asexual structures like juice spores are generally produced by lower fungi like Pythium and Phytophthora. On the other hand, aplanospores are generally produced by the organism like mucor, rhizopus, etc. There are some exogenous fungal structures. The most common is conidia. They are produced nakedly on a specialized structure called conidiophore. That means conidiophore is a structure that bears conidia, which are naked. 
दे मे बी सिंगल और दे मे बोर्न इन चेन दे हैव वेरिंग फॉर्म एंड दे हैव दे आर ऑफ वेरी यंग साइज दे मे बी यूनि सेल्युलर दट इज सिंगल सेल और मल्टी सेल्युलर दे मे बी कालर और द हाइवी दे आर मोस्टली नॉन मोटाइल इन नेचर Thank you my dear friend for watching my video i hope you get some of the knowledge especially the basic knowledge on fungi so to get more and more knowledge on the fungi please continue watching my channel thank you